So Sensei is finally here. Well, everywhere outside of America, that is. And I just finished playing through the game and I thought I'd get my thoughts on it. Let's get into this review. Sensei of Soldier's Soul starts the four main chapters of the original manga series, Sanctuary, Asgard, Poseidon, and Hades. Or hot as for all you Japanese elitists. I was actually surprised by how well the story was done for this game. In the first game, Brave Soldiers, the story just had static images that you look at until the battle starts. But here you get full cutscenes that actually use the art style of the game to help push the story. But while the cutscenes are good, I do have a few problems with it. Number one, the way the fights set themselves up. There's always a narrator telling you what happened just before the fight starts, who'd be like, So yeah, Shuryu was walking along until he found some wolves. They started to fight him, but he beat him up. And here we are. Number two, action scenes are usually disturbed by a white flashing light, which means every time somebody does something cool, you don't really get to see the effects of the attack. You're just told that it works or you just see somebody on the ground. And lastly, no way, that's all I got. The story mode covers all the points leading up right before each fight, but it misses a lot of the key features and character development like the manga and the anime had. Like the entire beginning of the series is gone, the tournament section was nowhere to be found, Iki becoming evil and wanting to kill everybody for being sent to hell isn't there, and so on. You start immediately at the sanctuary trying to save Athena. If you're new to Saint Seiya, you can go straight into the story mode, but you might be lost some of the time. Now it's not required to read the manga or watch the anime, but I do recommend it, because one, it's an amazing anime and you should watch it, and B, you you get a better understanding of what's going on. One thing I forgot to mention is that this game is Japanese with subtitles. It's not a big deal, it's only a problem when you're fighting in story mode and somebody from the sideline is talking but you want to focus on the fight so you can't stop to read the text. And that's story mode. God, I... I feel awful, I, I sounded so negative. Don't get me wrong, the story mode is actually great, it just lacks in a lot of areas and coming from a Saint Seiya fan, I just noticed these things. Each chapter is going to take you around two hours, two hours four chapters, do the math here. And that's pretty long for a fighting game, that is, if you decide to watch the cutscenes. As for the gameplay, if you're familiar with the Naruto Storm franchise, you know what to expect here. The square and triangle button is for your main attack, and pressing them in different combinations will land you different combos. The blue meter that you see right here is for your cosmos. Depending on how much meter you have left determines whether you can use a special attack or dodge your enemy. You can charge this by holding down the L2 button, and then they'll do their cool constellation poses, which is just awesome. Each character has their own special attack and burst attack, and special attacks can also be used in combinations to help pull off some cool combos. Lastly, there's Big Bang Attacks. Yes, that's actually what they're called. It's this orange meter that when filled up, you can try your luck at using it. There's two ways to fill it up. One, by taking the Street Fighter 4 approach and just getting beat up. Or you can charge it, which just takes really long. I, you know, I was curious to see how long this took. Guess how long it took? 13 seconds. Do you know what I could do in 13 seconds? But if you miss, well, you know good luck trying to get it back moving on if you ever decide to play this game with a friend either online or offline you can play in a tournament mode it's tournament mode i i really shouldn't have to explain what tournament mode is and you can also set your own rules to suit your taste if you want to play a match where whoever falls three times loses you can do that not sure why you'd want to but you know whatever but enough about the gameplay let's talk about the online i played it twice lost once won once there was barely anybody on but that's enough about the online, let's look at something else. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't mention that playing this story mode unlocks characters and titles that you can use for online. And at the end of each fight, you get a rank. The higher the rank, the more money you get. To get a higher rank, you have to win fast and without getting hit a lot. Plus it unlocks costume support and quotes that you can purchase by spending the money that you earn from each fight. Also, there's a mode called Battle of Gold, which is just story mode 2.0 but only focuses on the gold saints. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this review. Now comes the question, would I recommend this game? Yeah, it's a pretty great game. Lots of fun to be had with this game, and it'll last you a long time if you try to collect everything. But I'd still recommend that you read the manga or watch the anime. Not Omega, because... Fuck that. But the original series. One thing to note is that the PS3 version is 30 frames per second, while the PS4 and Steam version is 60 frames per second. And also for my fellow Americans, this game is download only, so... So no physical version for you. Unless you decide to be like me and just import it from Europe. Saint Seiya Soldier's Soul gets a yes out of recommend. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. You know all that good stuff. I will see you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. No, no.